Hello, everybody. So this is going to be a kind of a fun little video. Nothing too complicated, but we're going to do some code uh, for pranks, basically. Some little fun things you can do to a coworker, family, friend, whatever. But full disclaimer, use these at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything you do. And, you know, keep your victim in mind. Are they working on a huge essay? You might not want to pull some of these off as they could lose some of their work. And they probably wouldn't be too happy with you. This video is purely for educational reasons only. So yeah, I got the code pulled up here. Uh, the first thing I'm doing right off the bat here is I got the reload to stop the pranks. That way, you know, especially with me recording, I can stop in any time to show you the next one. Or you can just stop it for your friend once they kind of figure out something's going wrong. The first one is just kind of a basic mouse move. I'm going to press F1 to trigger it. You don't have to use a hotkey. You could just delete this and have only the basic part of the code like here in it. That way, once you run it, you can walk away. You don't have to trigger it, you know, whatever. You could also, I showed you in some of my other videos, uh, the icon video, how to change the icon. You could always disguise uh, the script as like a Chrome launcher and have them run it themselves too. So check out that video uh, if you want to learn how to change uh, the, uh, what's it called, the icon to an ICO file. So the first one we're doing, uh, we're starting a timer here. It's going to go off every 10 seconds, 10,000 milliseconds. It's going to go to move haha, -ha, which is my handler down here. Then going to choose a random number between 100 and 800. It's then going to use that number that it generated to move the mouse uh, at the coordinates of 500 and whatever random number it picked. That just way it kind of bounces around randomly here every 10 seconds. So let me go ahead and run that. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and push F1 on my keyboard. So I'll just put my mouse right here. Yeah, I'm working. About 10 seconds later, it's going to go ahead and move it to those random coordinates. So there it goes. It bounced up here. So I'm going to go back down here, keep working. We'll wait another 10 seconds for that. Hands are off, and there it goes. It just moved again. Uh, so I'm going to push F2, and that's just going to stop it from moving again so I can continue on with the video. All right, the next one we got is random message boxes here. Not sure why that's there. Uh, I'm going to push F2 for this one. Once again, it's going to set a timer that goes off every 10 seconds. And this one is, um, I've actually done this one before. It's kind of funny, but it's going to spawn a message box that's just going to say, and you can obviously change this text to whatever you want. Would you like to continue press yes or no? They'll then prompt with you know clicking yes or no normally a message box you push no it's just going to close it out but what we're doing here is we're having if they push yes it's going to ask are you sure you would like to continue press yes or no you know they push yes and regardless if they push yes or no i'm having it actually go back to the beginning at the handler to start the whole process all over again so no matter what they do, as you can see in here, you know, I got the else here. So if they had push no, it would ask the exact same thing. And once again, go to the back. So this is a endless message box that will never go away unless you close the script. So let's take a look at that from the desktop here. So I'm going to push F2. And you don't have to put a timer for something like this if you don't want to. Uh, it just helps to spam it a little bit more often and uh, give it a delay. That way you can kind of, when they're not looking, run it and kind of book it. So, would you like to continue yes or no? I'm just going to say no. Are you sure you'd like to continue? Uh, I'll push yes. So, as you see, I'm just going to randomly push, and it will never close. Even if I try to push the X up here, you can't. There is no way to get rid of this. So, I'm going to push F2. Get rid of that. Apparently F2 doesn't want to work with that, so I guess I do have to manually close the script for that one. That's fine. 
So yeah, you can change the verbiage in here, have it go as deep as you want. Instead of having go to here, you can add even another message box, just kind of asking more and more questions and it's really confusing the heck out of them for sure. All right. Up next, we have moving windows. This one, I'm pushing F3. Once again, I got a 10 second timer. It's gonna trigger the keep on moving handler here. And it, this one, you could target specific windows if you want it. I'm just grabbing whatever the active window is that they're currently working in. Uh, I got a message box here to show me that it did grab the title. That's more for testing purposes. I can go ahead and get rid of that. But then it's going to do a win move, whatever title is grabbed up here, the active window. And it's just going to snap it to the corner of my desktop. You can change these coordinates to whatever you want. Uh, in my last script up above, you can add a random generator too if you just want to move it randomly around. But I'm just going to have it snap to that corner there. So I'll just use Notepad here. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that's running. And what was that? F3. So I'm going to push F3. So yada, yada, yada. I'm doing my work here. You know, everything looks good. You can't see my whole desktop, but you'll still see it snap. Yep, and there it goes. It moved up there for you. Yep. And I'm going to move it back. Oop. That message box shouldn't be showing out. I forgot to save this, but... Yeah, so every 10 seconds, it's just taking my window and moving it. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? There we go. So let's go ahead and close that. That message box won't show up. Uh, I did comment it out here, but I forgot to save it. So that's fine. I'll leave it uncommented for you guys. There's no reason for you guys to really need this unless you're testing out or playing around to see if you're getting the correct results. Or if you do want to grab a specific title, you can use this to grab the title and then change this right here. You might have to use a set title uh, match mode to two. I have other videos showing you how to do that and what that does. Now this one I am definitely not going to be showing you guys live because this shuts my computer down. Can't do that while I'm recording really. So once again, I'm setting a timer, 10 seconds. It's going to trigger the bye bye function or a handler here. And it's just a simple shutdown five. So the five, there's actually a few different combinations you can use here with this address I have. So let's go ahead and take a look at those to explain them a little bit better. All right. They've changed this since the last time I've been on here. So right here, you got the different things you can do. As you see, there's not every number. Five is not on there. So what five is, is just four plus one. So it's doing a shutdown and it's forcing it to shut down. You know, when you shut your computer down, sometimes you get that message that says, hey, this program's still running. Do you want to force close it? This is going to automatically force that to do that. So you can play around with the different combinations here. You got log off, shut down, reboot, force, and power down. And you can play around with combining them to get different types of results. But shutdown force is definitely uh, the easiest one to do because it just turns the computer off. Now obviously with that, once they start the computer off or back on, the script's not going to be running, so it won't happen again to them. And that's probably for the better for their sanity. I will conclude this in the description below along with all the other code. And just a quick reminder, if you have not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. I'm doing about two to three videos every week with auto hotkeys from gaming, work-related automation, and personal life automation. All right. Next one we're going to be doing here, oops, sorry, I got a little lag there, is random hot strings. So this is just kind of word replacement that can just, while they're maybe typing up a document or an IM to somebody, it's just going to do some word replacements to kind of make it look like someone's going wrong with their keyboard. Uh, with this one, I'm just doing how and no. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, good thing to keep in mind uh, with what I'm doing here, the hot strings, there has to be a space or an enter afterwards. I think that's better because 
they're more likely to notice it before they send it because you got to be careful. What if they're doing this at work and sending an important an email? Hopefully they catch it before they do it. Like I said, think of your victim. <laughs> so I can start typing here. I can be like, hi, how are you? And as you see, it replaced with how with ha 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 ha. Someone could be like, hey, do you have the reports today? No. Enter. Ah, I just changed it again. So, you can add as many as you want of these. They can be words. They can be letters. It's really up to you. You know, the more you put in there, the more frequency it's going to happen. So, if you kind of want to mess with them on more of a long-term thing, don't put too many in there, I would say. The next thing, and the last one is randomly opening and closing programs. Once again, got that set timer, open close function, or keep calling it a function, handler every 10 seconds. Uh, it's then going to run Chrome. You can also do this by doing process close, the program's name, dot exe. But I'm just gonna do a run thing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push F5, and I actually have Chrome running, so I'm gonna close that out. So I'm going to push F5. It's going to go for about 10 seconds. Just real quick, if you guys think of any other ways that you could kind of mess with people using auto hotkeys just as a fun little joke or April Fool's, definitely comment below. Let me know. If I get a good amount of feedback and good ideas, I might do a second follow-up to this. So definitely hit the comments up with some great ideas for this. So now as you see, every 10 seconds, it's opening up a new Chrome page. So it's already open too. Here shortly, it's going to open another one. There it goes. I'm going to shut that down. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.